Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you a quick but cool effect that makes a digital retro sci-fi portrait of someone from an ordinary snapshot. The size of this document is 1440 by 1500 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. The first step is to remove the background from your subject. To do this, we need to make a selection around the head. There are many ways to do this, however, for this example, I'll choose the Quick Selection tool. I'll choose a relatively small point size and click on the inside of the image and drag down until it's all selected. To remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt or Option as you click on those areas. Click on the Refine Edge button at the top and click Smart Radius. For this image, I'll increase the radius to approximately 6 to 7 pixels. For your image, you may want to adjust this number. My brush size is 87 pixels, but again, you may want to use a different number for yours. Now brush around the hair, and then release. We'll output it as a selection, and then click OK. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut and copy the selection of the head from its background. Go to the New Layer icon and Control click or Command click on it to make a new layer below the active layer. We'll fill this empty layer with white and since white is our background color, press Control delete or Command delete to fill it with white. We'll merge these two layers by clicking on the top layer to make it active and pressing Control or Command E. Let's add some text. Open your vertical type tool. I'll use Arial Regular, 94 points, smooth, top align text, and use black. Use any color but white. Type out the name. We want to increase the letting, which is the space between the letters. To do this, highlight the text and go to Window and choose Character. In the Character panel, slide the letting to the right. To move it, open your Move tool and move it. Merge these two layers and open your paint bucket tool. Click on the foreground color and pick a bright color. Click down on the first letter to fill it in. Go back to the foreground color and pick another bright color. Click down on the second letter to fill that in. Continue this process until each letter is filled in with a different color. Make a copy of this layer. Go to Filter, Pixelate, and Mosaic. I'm choosing a cell size of 30 pixels square. Depending on the size and resolution of your image, you may want to adjust this number. Go back to Filter and choose Noise and Median. Choose a radius that makes your mosaic as close to a circle as possible. For this image, the radius is 10 pixels. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Stylized folder and choose Glowing Edges. For this image, the edge width is 4, the edge brightness is 14, and the smoothness is 15. Experiment with the width, brightness, and smoothness to determine the combination you like for your image. Make a copy of the layer and go to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. The angle is 0 degrees and will make the distance 1000 pixels. Change the blend mode to screen and make the opacity 60%. Have fun making a retro sci-fi digital portrait of someone you know. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.